Rabbi Shah Rezenblatt, welcome to Tikkun's Weekly Dava. This week's portion is Korach, it's the fifth portion in the book of Midbar, the book of Numbers. And um, the story is of, of Korach, the, the uh, man who led a rebellion against Moses in the desert and ended up, the, the earth and the opened up and swallowed him up, came to not a very nice end. It's the classic story really of, of, of a person with potential, with great potential, who just made the wrong decisions. Korach, the rabbis tell us, was an incredibly wise man. He was chosen from all the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark, to carry the Ark of the Covenant with the Ten Commandments in it. The Zohar, the book of Jewish mysticism, tells us that of all the tribe of Levi, he was the man with the greatest potential. Now that says a lot, given that the, that tribe contained many great men, including Moses and Aaron, and yet Korach had more potential than they had. And, and yet, look what happened to him. He led a rebellion and, and got swallowed by the earth and the rabbis say he has no portion in the world to come. Gone, obliterated, disappeared. Where did he go wrong? You know, what, what, what went wrong over here? What, what happened? And I think that the answer to that question is to point out that it's the wrong question. Nothing went wrong. Nothing happened. He made choices, as we all do. And the consequences of those choices were what they turned out to be. He, he ended up, he started out as a, as a, with a desire for money. And he followed that desire. And, and in following that desire for money, he became a very wealthy man. Nothing wrong with that uh, so far. But that wealth led him to a feeling of arrogance. And he followed that feeling of arrogance. And that was a choice he made. And that arrogance led him to a desire for honour. And that desire for honour again was a choice that he made to, to be interested in that, to look in that direction, to follow that. And in following that desire for honour, he chose a rebellion against Moses. The choices were his from beginning to end. He, he made his life. He chose his life and chose the direction. And the consequences and the results were entirely as a result of, of the choices that he made. The... The toilet portion opens up with the word Vayikach, Vayikach Korach, Korach took. The rabbi said, what does it mean took? He took, attempted to take that which was, did not belong to him, that which was not his. But it's, it's an active verb. He took, he was active, he was active in the process. He wasn't a passive bystander who was um, um, affected by terrible circumstances. He was somebody who made choices and, and we see the results of those choices. Shakespeare tells us in, in Twelfth Night... I looked that one up, that um, some people are born great, some people achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. He, um, I don't agree with that. Uh, people only achieve greatness. Yes, some people are born with a potential for greatness, some people are put in a position where they have more potential for greatness, but the greatness will only ever come as a result of the choices that they made. Koach chose wrong. And there's only himself to blame. It, it's true of us as well. You know, if we, if we don't achieve, we don't accomplish that which we aspire to in our lives, it's very easy and very convenient and we can blame circumstances, just things didn't work out. We learn my upbringing, I just I wasn't educated properly, uh, nobody taught me, nobody showed me. If only things had shown, people had shown me different things when I was young, things would be different. We blame on nature, I don't have the ability, I don't have the skills. Ultimately, really, we have only ourselves to blame because we make our choices. And, and the, the range of free will and the range of choice that a human being has in this world is, is, a, is a very significant and wide range indeed. The converse of this is, you know, and I think it's a, it's a beautiful converse, is... If we're responsible for our choices and for the mistaken choices that we made, it means we're also responsible for the right choices that we made. If we achieve, if we accomplish, if we grow, if we develop, we achieved that, we did that. That was something that I achieved, that I accomplished, it's mine. It belongs to me, my accomplishments belong to me. People aren't born great. People don't have greatness thrust upon them. Greatness is ours and ours alone to achieve. Wish you a Shabbat Shalom. If you're interested in finding more about, about Tikkun, what we do, um, the ideas that we're teaching, please log on to our website, tikkun.co.uk. Thank you. <laughs>